When I bought my first primary residence in Oceanside, California, I ended up selling it down the road and I made $172,000 tax-free. Well, basically tax-free. And every single military family that is PCSing constantly can do the exact same thing that I did. And the, the strategy is super easy. You don't have to know how to do 1031 exchanges. You don't have to be a real estate professional. You don't have to be a real estate agent. You don't have to understand 60 whatever thousand pages of the IRS tax code. You don't have to do any weird financial gymnastics. There's, it's really extremely simple and it's called capital gains exclusion. Essentially, if you buy a primary residence and you live in it for two of the last five years, you're able to sell it and not pay capital gains taxes on the first $250,000 of profit if you're single and $500,000 of profit if you're married filing jointly, which is insane. That means you could make half a million bucks and not pay a single penny of taxes on that money or at least capital gains taxes. So this is, this is how it works, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through and I'll explain how you as a military member can capitalize on this. And you don't even have to be a real estate investor. You can just live in your primary residence. Well, real estate investor, what I mean by is like owning an empire or rentals or whatever, how some people might think it is. But you could just do this with your primary residences and rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So check it out. Every single duty station, buy a primary residence. Is it guaranteed that the market's gonna appreciate in your favor? No. I'm just gonna let you know that, not guaranteed. But are the odds in your favor? Yes. If you hold on to it long term, will it appreciate as long as you're not burning it down? Yes. So what you do is you buy a home for your family or for yourself, whatever, every single duty station that you can reasonably do this at. And you try to buy, honestly, not the ugly house in the nicest neighborhood, but something along those lines. You wanna buy an opportunity home. And actually, if you stick around, I'm gonna talk about how to double your outcome on this, but, but let's just cover the capital gains part here for a second. You buy this home and while you're living in it for the two years, just focus on improving it. Improve it, make it better while you're there, okay? And then what happens is, you're gonna kind of force appreciation. So instead of waiting for the market to appreciate, you can force the appreciation with some of the renovations you're doing. And so then what happens is when you sell the property, hopefully it'll appreciate not only because of the market, but because of the uh, forced appreciation you did in it. You're just doing some tender love and care while you live in it. When you sell it, that's when you don't pay taxes on it. And again, if you don't live in it for a full two years, if you're moving because of the military, you can still claim the capital gains exclusion. The only thing is, is you can only do this once every two years, but it takes two years typically. And most of us don't PCS uh, that often. I mean, like I would say the average military family probably PCSs every two years. I know some that have PCS almost every year, but hey, I just wanted to explain to you the basics here. Now, how do you kind of multiply this thing? How do you make it even more powerful? Well, you can house hack. So when you buy a primary residence with a VA loan, for example, you can actually buy up to four houses all in one. This is called a fourplex. It can be a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex. And you can have the other people in the other units actually pay the mortgage for you, <laughs> or most of it, maybe even more than the mortgage. And so basically, not only are you living for free while you're in that home and any kind of BAH you're taking, which is tax-free, you can use towards improvements on that property. You're now... I mean, you're basically living for free. You're living for free in the home that you bought, and then you're still gonna be able to claim capital gains exclusion when you move or when you sell, right? That is bananas. That's how you just, that's how you accelerate wealth big time, is if you live for free and the thing that you're living in, you can sell once it's appreciated tax-free. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. It's just breaking down the basics. It's called capital gains exclusion. It's especially beneficial for military since we move a lot. We get to see various different markets and we get to claim that, you know, the job forced me to move thing, which gives you the partial capital gains exclusion even if you didn't live there for two years. I did that again on a California home, made $172,000, cool and easy. And I didn't even have to, pre I didn't have to do much to that home because it, it was a nice new home. I didn't have to do much to it. It's just, I got to ride the market. Won't happen to everybody, won't happen at that time frame. But hey, you don't win unless you play, right? So, all right, Mark Yancich is out. See you later, bye.